Cuckoo, directed by Tillman Singer, is the latest horror film to be brought to us by Neon. It stars Hunter Schaefer and Dan Stevens. And uh, I feel like this movie has been anticipated and, and talked about and waited for for so long. I feel like we've been seeing the trailer since like early January. And now it's finally here. I do believe it got delayed a couple of times. Excuse me. But it's finally here. I was really really excited for this movie. Uh, the thought of Hunter Schaefer um, spearheading a horror film, I think, really works. One, she's one of my favorite actresses currently working, and like one of my favorite celebrity personalities. I think she's just great. Um, but also, I think her specific kind of style definitely uh, suits the role of like a slasher girl, or you know, like a final girl. Uh, I think, I don't know, it just works for me. And Cuckoo from the trailer seemed extremely like, you know, uh, it had cool and slick cinematography, the editing seemed cool, um, it just seemed like a very fun movie that was going to be a little bit off the wall. And when I finally sat down to watch it and took it all in and discussed it with my friends and stuff and, you know, really thought about the movie, I came to the conclusion that this was pretty mediocre. Cuckoo is a movie that isn't terrible by any means. It's definitely, like, watchable for the most part. It has ideas that I think uh, could have worked well. It has performances that work well. It has the elements of a pretty cool horror movie. You know, it had the potential, but it never really capitalized on any of that potential. This movie really feels underdeveloped. That's kind of the key word that I took from it uh, when leaving the movie theater. It was very underdeveloped. Uh, there is no sense of character development or character relationship throughout any of the characters in these films. Uh, you really don't understand any of their motivations. In fact, a lot of these characters kind of contradict their own motivations. Um, you get certain relationships that just feel so half-assed and so, you know, underdeveloped, like I was saying, that it makes the movie feel super weak and kind of meandering, especially towards the first half of the film. It builds up this uh, mystique and intrigue throughout the first uh, act of the film, but then it never really capitalizes on that at all. It never delves deeper than the surface level of the ideas it's presenting to you, and I think that really undercuts any of the tension, any of the emotion, any of anything throughout this film. I do want to give a lot of credit to Hunter Schaefer. I think that she mostly kills it here. She's not really given a whole bunch to do. Uh, she just is kind of being Hunter Schaefer, but she's endlessly entertaining. I think uh, her cadence and her um, mannerisms really work for this kind of character. Um, I think she was easily the strongest performance in the movie. Um, she really sticks out like a sore thumb in a good way. The other performances just feel kind of there. Like Dan Stevens, I really don't see why people love him as an actor. I feel like he plays the same role over and over again. And he, in this movie, is just kind of a, a creep and nothing more. I, I think his line delivery is so ham-fisted and is always, always feels like he's trying so hard to get these words out that it just comes across as amateurish. Uh, and the rest of the actors, like, they, they don't bring anything to the table here. Honestly, I think the parents are a non-factor. There's a detective character that is completely useless. Um, it's <sighs> disappointing is the main word. I think I'm coming from performances here, because they could have elevated what was a incredibly weak script into something kind of more schlocky and entertaining, and it's instead it just kind of was mundane. I think the visuals are cool. Uh, it's well shot enough. Uh, there are definitely some sequences where I was like, okay, that was pretty impressive, or oh, I really liked how they did that. Specifically a scene uh, where Hunter Schaefer is riding a bike and a monster is creeping up behind her. I thought that was really well done. But other than, outside of those moments, I I don't know. There's nothing for this movie for me to chew on. There's nothing for me to take away from it. There's nothing that really puts it over the hump of just being mediocre and, and dull. This movie is incredibly dull, and I think that it's the opposite of what it should have been. It should have been more batshit insane. It should have been more off the wall. They should have thrown more stuff at us 
instead of just kind of trying to work in this family drama and, um, you know, useless moments and scenes that, that I don't know, that they don't do anything for the narrative, don't do anything for the performances, don't do anything for the overarching story of the film. It's just bland. And I was left feeling pretty cold, and, and I think that I'm going to forget about Cuckoo in the next couple of months, which sucks, because this movie could have been really good, I wanted it to be really good, and it just kind of missed the mark. Again, not terrible, not like worst of the year list um, at all, but really not my thing, and I think um, is going to let a lot of people down. I hope it doesn't like fail or flop really hard because I really want to see Hunter Schaefer in more leading roles like this. I want to see her in other horror films, but um, this was just not one that I think ever got out of first gear. So I'm going to give Cuckoo a light two and a half out of five. You know, really just a blech kind of movie. That's my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Cameron's here. She wants to say hi. Hi. And I wonder if I'm gonna. Don't bite me. Come here. She's laying so nice. Look at our cat. I'm gonna we, say hi to Joni. And we have Joni. Joni, look. Look. Oh my god, do you hear her? Yeah. I'll put her down. She's so mad. Alright. I'll see you guys in the next review for Alien Romulus. And, uh, yeah.